one, how frequently can someone read the part? And two, are you working solely at tackle or are you also training at other positions? Um, preseason camp is going great so far. You know, I love the opportunity to compete against one of the best D lines in the country every day. And right now, I'm working at mostly right tackle. But um, if there's a chance, I'll get some guard work. And wherever Coach Atkins wants to work me, I'll work. Next will be Pat Burnham from the Osceola. Hey, Lon, that helped you well. Uh, first of all, how has been? How excited are you playing offense against Florida? And has there been a I'm super excited to play in the offense for Coach Norvell. He's a genius, and everything he does, it's like it works. He has answers for everything. Um, and the competition level is its a lot different right now. Like Guys like Josh Kando, J-Rob, Marvin, those guys, are they're tough to block, but it's getting me better every day. Hey, Devontae. Uh, Coach Atkins was you know, complimenting you and just kind of your, your personality and kind of leadership you've given, being a little bit of an older guy. What's it like? being a part of a new program, but not being a freshman, being a guy that's you know seen a lot of things and been through college football. How different is this experience maybe than when you first got to college football? Um, it's a lot different because you know so much more. I've played in a lot of games, and now it's like I see stuff happen happening before it happens, and I can teach the younger guys that same thing. And a lot of them, they ask me questions. And when I was a freshman, when I came in as a freshman, I was nervous to ask questions. I didn't want the older guys to look at me like I was like I didn't know what I was doing. And the young guys we have, they're hungry and they're ready to work and they're ready to win and they don't shy off. They ask whenever, whatever. Hey, Monte, how's it going? How you doing? I'm good, thanks. So a few minutes ago before Coach Norvell, or before we were speaking to you, Coach Norvell came in, he was pretty complimentary of a few of the freshmen off the lineman, Thomas Trader, Robert Scott. What have you seen from those young guys? Uh, how are they acclimating to the college team so far? Um, they're doing really well, especially uh, Robert, Thomas, uh, all those guys, Lloyd. They're, they're big, strong, long guys, and they're all hungry. They want to work. They're coming in here to compete. They're not coming in here to redshirt. They want to play right away, and they're showing it every day at practice. He's increasing my football IQ by so much, he, whether it's fronts or just seeing blitzes. And, and he's showing us uh, how to use a lot of grit and how to strain when, uh, when stuff gets tough. And he's just he's great to work with. Every day he challenges us. He has a new challenge every day. And he's going to push you because he wants the best from you, and I love that. Uh, when you first got to Florida, you know, you had some pretty good players. Any particular guys in terms of um, challenges and battles that you've had that have been, um, I'd say illuminating, but, but kind of uh, been unique challenges since you've been here so far? Uh, Kendo, most definitely. He's, he's a long, athletic, strong dude, and he challenges me every day. Whether it's in pass rush, run blocking, team, it's always a war with him. Uh, it's a cool thing. It's it's whatever though. You know, I'm focused on this year and this team, and ready to go beat them again. We'll go back. We'll go to Matt Baker from Tampa Bay Times. Hey, Monte, when did you realize that you could play at a level like FSU? Um, it's always been a dream of mine, and that's that's one of the reasons I tried to come here to prove that I could play at this level. And every day I go out there and I try to prove that I can. And I guess we'll see when we face off against Georgia Tech. Go, um, back to Iowa. Hey, you guys have a, there's several um, Division One transfers on this roster, more than usual. Uh, is there any kind of bond among you guys that um, have come from different places to kind of have a new start at a new college? Um, I wouldn't say that, like, specifically with the transfers. I mean, I feel like everybody on the team is welcome to all the transfers with open arms, especially in the position groups. Like, I hang out with the offensive line most of the time. We don't have, like, a transfers-only group chat or anything like that. Hey, Devontae, obviously, when you were considering transferring, were there other schools that you considered uh, in that process? And why ultimately did you pick FSU? Um, there are a couple other schools, but I'm from Florida. It's Florida State. Coach Novell's offense was great. I watched him when he was at Memphis, and I just wanted to be a part of it. Thanks for the 
before he caught some more chance. Yeah, Devontae, I hope you're doing well, man. Uh, could you go back to uh, all of your head coach a genius? Like, I know you've probably played for a lot of smart coaches. What really stands out about him? Just seeing the film and then being out there on the field and doing the installs and you see what he did at Memphis and then when it comes together for you, like if I have to make a check that I've seen someone do on film before and now I'm on the field doing it and the play breaks for 30 yards, it's like it's exactly what he told me to do. The defense did exactly what he said they were going to do and the play just broke.